Kelly, your Peak Fitness Dead Bug Progression. For a dead bug, what we're going to do, we're going to need a uh, just a pillow or just something that we can squeeze between our knees. All right, now for level one, what we're going to do is just squeeze the pillow between our knees, okay? I'm just gonna have you line your back. You're gonna put your hands in your stomach. Just take a deep breath in. Tighten your, back, tighten your abs, press your back into the ground and blow out. Like you're blowing out a balloon, all right? The goal here is to maintain a flat back position. So if you arch your back as much as you can here, and you press your back into the floor as much as you can, you want to stay more pressed into the floor, okay? You want to stay away from the arching part because that's what gravity is going to want to do to our core as we fatigue. So in this position, just again, take a deep breath in, fill your belly with air, purse your lips, and I want you to think about tightening your abs as hard as you can as I blow out through pursed lips. At the same time, I'm squeezing this between the knee, my knees to help me fill my abs. One more time, deep breath in. Fully exhale and tighten. And one thing you'll notice with this, the exhale is very long, okay? Three to four seconds. That's really going to help to turn our core on. Now from here, make this harder. We just bring our feet off the ground and we do the same thing. Deep breath in, tighten your abs. Squeeze the pad and blow. One more time, deep breath in. Squeeze and blow. Four keys here. Back position stays the same. You're able to feel it in your abs versus anywhere else. And I want you to perform that for anywhere from 8 to 12 breaths or whatever you prescribed in our program. What we're going to do is we're going to take our hands like this. We're just going to add a little bit of motion to this exercise. So we're going to take a deep breath in. Tighten your abs. Extend one arm behind you. Deep breath in. Tighten your abs. Extend the other arm behind you. Deep breath in. Tighten the arm. One more time with the other arm. Extend behind you. One more time. Deep breath in. Blow out. Extend the arm. As we, we start to move our arms and legs with this motion, it starts to train our core to stabilize as we move our limbs. All right? So think about one breath per arm motion. Um, you know, and again, we'll give you anywhere from 8 to 12 breaths, but that's how we work. That's our level 2. All right, now for level three, we've removed our blue pad. This is going to be our hardest level. And what I want you to do, we're gonna put our hands on our head. You have any neck problems, we can also start with the ground, but ideally I want you here. What you're gonna do is take a deep breath in, blow out, extend one leg, bring it back. Deep breath in, blow out, extend the opposite leg. Deep breath in, blow out, extend one arm, deep breath in, blow out, Extend the opposite arm. Once you're comfortable with all of those, our back doesn't change position, we're going to combine the two. So I take a deep breath in, I extend one arm, back to the opposite leg. Deep breath in, blow out, extend the one arm, extend the opposite leg. One more time, deep breath in, blow out, extend one arm in the opposite leg, deep breath in, blow out, extend one arm in the opposite leg. And again, with this one, you find that your back starts to arch when your feet get to a certain place with the leg extension, stop there. All right, as your core gets stronger, you'll be able to extend out farther without that happening. Same goes for the arms. Again, if, if you start to arch here, that's kind of your range of motion. So for some people, your dead bug would look like this. Actually, it's opposite. Whereas others that are stronger will be able to extend farther out. But again, that's a progressive thing and it will help you to kind of gauge yourself as you go along. Maintain your form cues, perform the amount of reps for